cutouts. In the final decade of his life, between 1944 and 1954, Matisse began to create works by cutting shapes out of painted paper and arranging them in lively compositions. He described this process as cutting directly into vivid colour or drawing with scissors. These works became famously known as the cutouts. Other artists also explored this technique. Sophie Torba Arp and her husband Hans Arp were founding figures of the Dada movement in Zurich. Among other artistic pursuits, they both made collages and abstract wood reliefs. They experimented with spontaneous methods of artistic creation and embraced the notion of chance. Made up of organic shapes, the reliefs explore an an abstract biomorphic language. We can see this in this particular piece created by Hands Up titled Shirt Front and Fork from the ninth from around nineteen twenty two. Okay, so we're going to make our own cutouts. Um, so you need to go and find some a branch or some leaves or maybe a flower or something that you'd like to um, use to kind of create your organic shapes. Also need some coloured paper. I'm going to use scrap paper. Um, so I've got some old envelopes, a yellow manila folder thing and um yeah and some just some cardboard um so grab those and we will get started okay so now we're ready to cast some shadows and start tracing uh i'm just taking advantage of the lovely sunlight coming through today so um but you may like to just set up a lamp um and you could also put your uh material your found object into a vase or a jar and position your paper around that so and just trace along the lines it doesn't have to be a perfectly neat tracing of the shadow uh we're just hoping to sort of capture that a, a nice organic shape uh, also, a little bit of variety would be good with the shapes. So, if you can look for thinner sections, big fat thick lines, also little wiggly bits, um, spiky parts, um, and just sort of try and get a whole collection of um, shapes. And like I say, it does not have to be perfect. So, and you can sort of fill them up anywhere on the page because we're going to be cutting them out. So, uh, you can sort of fill that page with, uh, these shapes. So have a little bit of fun. Um, yeah, it's all very loose. Okay. 
Okay, so now you've got a lovely collection of um, organic shapes. So uh, again, collage, there is no set rules, but I guess just a few design basics or things that might help you to get started um, is if you put down some big shapes first um, and shapes can overlap, that works quite well. Um, and I guess is like just keeping an eye on that negative space, so the space, that area between your shapes um, as that area sort of creates um, creates or makes a shape too. So um, just keep looking at both of those um, and just play around with your composition. Um, it's great to turn things around upside down, have a look at it um, to see what it looks like upside down. Also, as you're playing around, you might see that, you know, a pile starts to kind of look like a face or something. So a lot of times that that time that we're just playing can actually create something really nice. Um, but, yeah, as I was saying, have a look at things upside down or if you have a mirror, you can look at it in the mirror and sometimes that just it helps you um, sort of see if it's a good composition.